there are militant fundamentalist atheists and militant fundamentalist Christians, and I put them in a box together, and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be very clear on what the science tells us and where we make a leap and start to make a philosophical and worldview statement. If you ask people in this country, do you follow a religion? I think about 11 or 12 percent say yes. But if you ask people, do you think there's more to the cosmos than is contained within the reductionist materialist position, about 95 percent of them say yes. Clearly mind and brain are connected, but the science doesn't say anything about the nature of that connection. I believe the cosmos is conscious, and I believe God is in all things, and all things are in God. If I'm in my last days of life, am I going to live beyond the death of my body or not? Why for you does Christian theism help you to understand the cosmos? more than perhaps a panentheistic view. Well, um, Justin, I think you're setting up a quite unnecessary and it's my left brain going to, to non-supported <laughs> dichotomy. Go on.